Let's start off this portion of the demonstration with really getting to our end result of adding a ladder into our template file. But with a lot of interaction we've had with our past customers, a lot of things we like to do to even set up that beginning file. So first the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new file. So I'm going to start a new file. I'm going to select what template I want to use. I want to use my AutoCAD Electrical Standard template file. Now the reason I mentioned I'm going to do I'm going to do a little pre-work here, right? So if we if we take and think about our standard AutoCAD Electrical template file, it's the fact that we really have no wires in this. We have you know just one wire layer here identified. So I'm going to quickly set this up. You know, obviously the first thing we need to do is you know, a wire color, maybe what size we're using. But we also need to state the actual color for that. So here it's going to be black, my 250 black. Maybe I'll select a red one. You know, as you go, you know as a company what wires you're going to use, what wires you're not going to use. And I'll do one more here. Uh, maybe this is 18 gauge. And work with that as I go through. So as I mentioned, you know, we, we go ahead and create the wires as needed with the wire specified. Now one thing we, we traditionally like to do when working and implementing AutoCAD Electrical and creating templates for our customers, and this has really caught on lately, is I like to make a, um, a magenta layer. Um, it's your choice if you want to add a size to this, if you commonly use 18 gauge wire or 16 gauge wire. But the re main reason I'm making this wire is for the idea is I want my engineers or designers to make decisions. So I'm going to make this 18 gauge or this, this wire here and also in this case maybe I will specify it because we commonly use 16 gauge. Again, make that color magenta and I'm also going to set this as my default. So by doing this, anytime someone adds a wire into the design, it's going to be that magenta, not something we would commonly use. So I want my engineers to make a conscious decision that they actually need to um, assign this wire a color, a gauge, a type, whatever the case may be. So that usually works out pretty well. So I'm going to go through and just erase that real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as my first template. So I'm going to say this is a drawing template, uh, maybe it's my wire underscore template. Save that off and select OK. So if I close that down, now I'm going to get into the actual ladder portion of template creation. Again, I'll go new here. In this case, I want to go grab that wire template. I'm going to open that up. Again, our wire layers should be there as they are. So that's there for us. Well, now we got to think about the ladders um, that we're going to be utilizing inside of our design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my edit wire numbers and um, my insert ladder. Nope. I want to get into, easy for me to say, So now, now that we have um, our wire template file open, so now we're going to go and be concerned about creating the ladders itself. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my schematic tab, my drawing properties, and get down over to my drawing format. Obviously we need to figure out, you know, what standard are we working to. Maybe I'm looking at horizontal or vertical. But my spacing is going to be one inch here. Um, the width, you know, again, got to make the decision on what the width is going to be. Maybe it's nine. Um, multi-wire spacing, you know, maybe it's a half inch or whatever the case may be. Some other things you need to think about here also is, you know, truly, again, this is going to be what we're going to use every time for a ladder itself. We can look at our reference number setup. Do you want numbers only, numbers and rulings, sheets and numbers? Um, I like sheets and numbers myself. Um, sheet, you know, dash numbers, however you want to do it. But, you know, usually one of the traditional ones is sheet and numbers. Um, makes it a little easier to use later on at the same time. So with these types of things um, set up, we can go ahead and just kind of move on with this. That's really all I need to do at this point if this is what I want. You know, make sure you also have the idea that uh, when we go to add this information in, do we want to add our rungs in and stuff like that at the same time. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in that ladder. Again, we'll see our predefined, it's a 9 inch width, our spacing 1 inch, 
our reference numbers here. Well, maybe it's going to be 100. How many rungs do I want? Maybe it's 18. Um, no, no bus, no rungs, or just you know, yes for all. You know, and also some things to think about. Three phase or single phase are all things that we need to think about when dropping this into our design. So I can either type in coordinates for the spacing of this or just drop it in to have a look. Normally I like to find coordinates I like to deal with inside of my design. Also, in many cases, I like to set up two um, ladder sets in this. So in this case, again, if I'm going in to drop another uh, ladder or rung in, what I'd like to do here is in a lot of cases, you know, we don't like to have the rungs itself. So maybe in this case, again, this is going to be another 18, um, starting at 120, but I want no rung information in here. So we have a quick way to add this information in when needed. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to quickly kind of specify where this is at. Again, typing in coordinates and knowing those coordinates is a whole lot better. So what's nice about this at the same time is when we are working in our jobs, remember, you know, people think, well, if I don't have rungs there, you know, how do I have to go through every time and add a rung in? Well, in a lot of cases I find that it's, there's, it's a very quick way of adding this information in, of course, with a multiple bus. So as we think about the spacing, right, I'm going to go every two on the spacing and we know we want to go maybe nine wires so here I can come in I can make the selection and drag all nine of those across at once so that kind of eliminates the cons you know the complaints from later on I like the every other spacing just for space requirements again all depending on your company's terms and uses and again from this we would just go through, use our save as. You do have the save as drawing template option, which I used the first time. You could save AutoCAD drawing standards. Just remember, you know, or just saving it as. You always have the ability to come in here and choose it as a template. You know, so whatever selection you make there. Now we're going to, maybe I'll call it just working template. And that's it. So that's going to be done and I'll go through reconciling la uh, layers in a second. So that's saved. Now, of course, every time I go through, I start a new project. Uh, I go with working template. I'm going to have all my ladder information there for me every single time. So.